Hello, my name is Elon Osborne, and this is a review follow-up. I bet many of you have already seen the review I did of the Outlaw 7000X versus the Basics A7. But there's one thing I need to follow up on, and that is the grounding loop buzz or hum that I experienced with the Outlaw Model 7000X. I only experienced it when I had RCA cables plugged in, because since the Basics A7 only has RCA inputs, I wanted to make it fair. But there's one thing that the Model 7000X has on the back that I did not touch on that I definitely should have, which is totally my bad. After the review came out, Outlaw Audio contacted me and asked me a few questions about my setup. And sure enough, when I was using XLR cables from my preamp to the Outlaw 7000X, there was no issue. No buzz, no hum, no nothing. It was so quiet. But only when I had RCA cables plugged in, there was in fact a grounding loop hum. Aha, but Outlaw Audio knows this may happen because not everyone's circuits are the same when it comes to power. So they provide you with a grounding loop pin in order to take a wire from the pin to the chassis of your preamp or AVR to ground it, thus eliminating the grounding hum. Well, the Basics A7 only has RCA inputs, so how come that one didn't buzz? Well, I'm not saying the Outlaw is better than the A7 and vice versa. It's just that there's more than one way to skin a cat. And with the Basics A7, they have it double insulated. And because it's double insulated, they can get away with a two-prong power cord, as you can see here. And the Outlaw Model 7000X has a three-prong power cord, so it has that extra grounding pin. Again, not because one is better than the other, they're just Different. different design and different approaches to handling possible ground loop issues within your own home's power circuits. In fact, here's what Outlaw Audio had to say about the issue. The Model 7000X is a quiet unit, so we had a feeling there was an issue elsewhere. Bear in mind the unit is three-pronged with a safety ground for additional safety by allowing you to utilize safety features offered by home circuits and wiring in addition to internal safety measures taken. The reason some people have this and others don't is not because of some flaw in the Outlaw product. Ground loop are dependent upon your home wiring and other equipment connected. So they chose to use a three-prong approach just as an added safety measure. Okay, so now you might be asking yourself, well, if I do have an Outlaw Model 7000X or 5000X or whatever, and I do have a grounding loop hum, then what do you mean connect it to the chassis of the preamp? Well, let me show you. All right, so just like in the review before, we have the Model 7000X connected to the IOTA AVX-17 via RCA cable, and it is connected to this left speaker. And once again, I'm gonna go up to the speaker real close, and there is once again a slight grounding hum. Now, just as another demonstration, I also have this right speaker connected to this, which is the Marantz SR7015, also via RCA because the pre-outs on the Marantz are only RCA. There are no XLR outputs. So just to demonstrate, since this right speaker is hooked up to the Marantz, do we have buzz coming out of that? Because just like the IOTA AVX17, that's going from RCA to the 7000X. The Marantz is going from RCA to the 7000X. Both being RCA, we should hear a slight buzz. So with the Marantz SR7015, there is a very, very slight grounding hum, but almost non-existent. The one coming from the IOTA AVX17 is definitely louder. So this goes to show you that it is in fact the IOTA AVX17 that is introducing this grounding hum, not the Outlaw Model 7000X. So that's why they have that grounding pin right there, just in case some component in the audio signal chain is introducing some ground hum. So how do we get rid of it? Well, I mean, you can use any wire, really, anything metal, anything that conducts electricity. You know, I've got this copper wire that's just laying around. I can connect it from here to there. Speaker wire might actually be better in the end because it's pretty flexible and you can wrap it around the screw 
that is connected to the chassis of the preamp or your AVR. But as you can see, the grounding pin on the Outlaw Model 7000X is big enough to accept banana plugs. So you could just plug in a banana plug like that. And then maybe the other end will be just bare wires. So you can wrap that around the screw. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be using this Aperion Audio straight speaker wire. So I'm gonna stick one end into the grounding pin of the 7000X. Like so. And now I'm gonna take this camera and put it up near the tweeter so we can see just how quiet it gets when the other end of the speaker wire is touching the chassis of the IOTA AVX-17. So, this is connected to the grounding pin. And take the other end and just touch chassis. Oh, whisper quiet. Touch the screw here. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye, Buzz. <laughs> so, yeah, if I was doing this long term, then uh, I would just have bare wire. I would unscrew this screw just a little bit, wrap the wire around, and then screw it back in so it's touching the chassis. Voila, you've got your grounding hum eliminated. Now, like I said, you could just wrap it around a screw that's connected to the chassis itself, but something like the SR7015 from Marantz, since it does have a phono input for a turntable, it also has, well, you can see here, here is the phono input, but right above it, you can see it has signal ground. So it actually has a specific spot you can ground something with a grounding wire because typically you want to do that with a turntable you want to ground the turntable if you have it plugged in to the Marantz but if you don't have a turntable and you're in a situation like this where something is introducing a grounding hum in the signal chain uh, you can in fact just loosen this pin here wrap around some speaker wire and then tighten it back up. So that is another nice feature of the Marantz SR715 or pretty much any Marantz or Denon or Yamaha <laughs> that accepts a phono input will also have some sort of grounding pin or signal ground that you can then put a, a, a wire around. Recap. So after performing these tests, it is in fact the IOTA AVX-17 that is introducing that grounding hum into the signal chain, since the SR7015, also connected to RCA cables, is not introducing a grounding hum. Well, it's, it's there, but it's barely. I mean, if I stick my ear up to it, I can hear it, but it is almost non-existent. Whereas the IOTA AVX-17 through this speaker is creating quite the grounding hum. So it's not the outlaw, it is in fact the IOTA AVX-17. But I do appreciate the fact that Outlaw Audio gives me that option of the grounding pin in case I do have a component that is in fact introducing a hum or some kind of noise into the signal chain that I don't want. So I hope that cleared up any confusion that you may have had from that previous review. And again, I apologize to Outlaw Audio and all of you who may have been hesitant on now getting the Outlaw Model 7000X or anything from Outlaw because you thought it was a flawed product. No siree, I still love my Model 7000X and it is going to be the main part of my bed layer speakers for years to come. And since I love my Marantz SR7015, which only has RCA pre-outs, I'm so glad that I can get the best possible performance out of my 7000X just by connecting that grounding wire. Sure, it's one additional step compared to the Basics A7, but if you're too lazy to run a little wire from the grounding pin to the chassis of your preamp, come on, that's on you, buddy. Lastly, just so you know, I'm not being paid by Outlaw Audio to do this follow-up. I'm just owning up to my mistake because I failed to mention a pretty important feature of the Outlaw Model 7000X. It would have been a disservice to Outlaw Audio in general and to my audience if I didn't come clean about this. Because I'll be the first one to tell you that I'm not perfect. And this probably won't be the first time I get something wrong. Just so you know. 
As always, please be kind to each other out there. Uh, don't forget to thoroughly research any topic that you might be interested in. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And of course, always be listening.